Hey guys, this is Mike and today we are talking about risk aversion for entrepreneurs and in particular for software bootstrappers. So stay tuned and uh, let's dive in. Yeah, so I don't know if you knew this, but basically your startup can fail for three main reasons. So one is, the first reason is you don't have enough money to sustain your business. Uh, the second reason is you don't have the right team in place. And the third reason is there's no market for your idea, for your uh, startup. So basically, these are the three main uh, reasons why a startup fails uh, right now. Um, and this affects basically 70% of startups out there. And um, how is this related to being risk averse? So being risk averse is a good mindset to have if you are a bootstrapper. And the good news is that um, you are already far ahead of your competition because basically a bootstrapping business is already risk averse for a lot of reasons. For example, uh, the first reason that I said before, uh, you know, there's um, no money, uh, basically doesn't affect you because you can really start uh, a business, an MVP, and validate your idea uh, with almost nothing or almost nothing. So uh, it's really, you can start on, on a low budget, no problem. Uh, second, you don't have the right team in place, you, you are not affected by this. Uh, reason uh, because you can start alone. I did, I mean, I know I did for myself, I started alone um, and um, you know, completely, completely by myself without any help. And yeah, right now I have a team, but they are all collaborators versus um, you know, employees. So I don't have to pay employees, I don't have to have to pay salaries. Uh, I don't have to pay for health insurance, you know, leaves, whatever. Um, I just pay them for the tasks that they do. And they are my collaborators and um, it works very well. So yeah, that really the reason number two doesn't count for you. Yeah, so basically the only reason you can fail uh, with a bootstrapping business if, is if there is no market. Um, and as I said, you can you can uh, really quick evaluate that uh, really quickly. Um, but you know, if worse come to, comes to worse and you do fail, you can always go to a job. And I'm sure that you know the person who will hire you uh, will see that you at least did something, that you were proactive, and you know, you can actually leverage your experience that you got uh, while you were working on your business or on your bootstrapping business. So, I mean, that's a really good parachute for you. Um, the other reason um, that I think a bootstrapping business is already good in terms of risk aversion, um, and that's like more a personal reason. Uh, at, at, at least it comes from my experience with software. Uh, but basically, um, you have um, a lot of customers and if you are doing a SaaS, you have recurring customers from the start. So, co like, compare recurring customers to, um, you know, one-time customers. Recurring customers will always be better. Um, because you only have to sustain the cost of acquiring that customers once, and then you have it for, you know, X months. Um, whereas with one-time customers, you have to actually get uh, and sustain uh, getting a good quantity of leads and a good conversion on those leads every month to have the same um, to have the same uh, income coming every month. So recurring income is all, always better and it's a good way to think about risk aversion uh, because, I mean, um, the, the other reason is that you, 
by by having a lot of customers yeah, because usually my products are in the range of like twenty dollars to maybe five hundred dollars yeah, if it's really a top top feature at least right now I do B2C or like b 2 b 2 C uh, I'm not like an enter in the enterprise um, category and so with that because I'm not in the enterprise level so I don't sell you know uh, software for you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 a month, but they sell software for like 20 a month, 40 a month. I can sell, I can sell a lot of people, and basically, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that like, not all my customers, hopefully, will not churn, uh, you know, next month. So, I mean, a common churn rate is like 10, maybe 20 percent. So, like. Yeah, maybe you from month to month you lose one thousand dollars. Who cares? Uh, but you didn't lose, uh, you know, ten thousand, four thousand dollars in revenue. Um, and uh, I mean, to make this uh, even uh, more clear, um, I have another business uh, which is an arbitrage business, and it's about a social media agency. And with that, like a client there can come with, you know, four or five thousand dollars per month. So if I lose one customer there on social media agency, I actually lose a big chunk of my revenue. Whereas with my software, if I lose one customer, it's like I, I lose twenty dollars. It's okay, right? So uh, in, in terms of like uh, um, uh, risk aversion, it's better because you are pulling from multiple sources and basically it's unlikely that all these sources, all these people will join next month. So yeah, I just wanted to um, you know, uh, put this message, message across to you and uh, send this message and uh, hopefully you get that you know, starting a bootstrapping business is in, indeed a good idea and um, you, think, you, you, you begin to think about risk aversion and now you can utilize that uh, to be more secure and uh, also um, forecast uh, your, uh, uh, your business expenses and uh, you know, do a better job with that. So with, with that I will see you in the next uh, Make Your Mindset video and I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.